What's the most embarrassing thing a parent has done to you? Calling all the neighborhood moms one day when my younger brother noticed I was growing pubic hair at 12 years old. My mother made it a point of conversation to let all 10 moms know I was becoming a man and the calls went on for about an hour and a half, because apparently puberty is that stimulating a conversation for the neighborhood. Ended up with a lot of such a little man. Comments from the neighborhood. And a couple of dads pulling me aside and letting me know that no one needed to know. As if I had something to do with it. Ugh. And X200B. Edit. For silver? Row. Thank each and every one of you that responded. I tried to respond to as many people as I could. My mum pulled up my skirt. Causing me to involuntarily flash a room full of people. At a Christmas dinner. I was absolutely mortified. She wanted to check for self-harm scars on my thighs. Apparently. I've never self-harmed before. She should not be allowed to consume alcohol. Edit. To answer the FAQs and the replies. I was 18. And I was wearing underwear. I went to school at an outpatient mental facility as a kid. It was Halloween so the instructors let us paint our faces and do arts and crafts all day. I knew my mom didn't like Halloween for religious reasons so I just gave myself a cat nose with whiskers and made sure not to write happy Halloween on anything I made. When my mom came to pick me up she screamed at me about how I knew better. Made me go to the bathroom to wash my face. As well as made me throw away all the stuff I made. In front of everyone. Edit. Shh non-denominational Christian. When I was really young. Maybe 5 or so. My dad got into a conversation with the cashier at the movie rental place. I had to pee but every time I tried to get his attention he brushed me off. I ended up peeing myself and he didn't notice until we got in the car and it smelled like pee. At least he was apologetic when he asked why I didn't tell him and I explained what happened. Edit. My top comment on any account I've ever had is about pissing myself. This is the kind of reddit that keeps me coming back. I told my dad about this and how many people had parents do something similar and he felt better about himself. Tell everybody at Thanksgiving dinner at her boyfriend's house about my tween bout with anorexia. I didn't want to be there in the first place. And she just kept going on and on about how I had carrots for dinner for a year until I had to shout at her to stop. My mom and I used to try and embarrass each other. It was. Fun. One day we were at Safeway and I was in the toilet paper aisle and there was a very hot guy in there as well she held up a mega pack of toilet paper and yelled hey sweetheart this will be perfect on your sensitive bum. How's your diarrhea right now? I thought I would die. In like 5th grade. There was this girl I was friends with and we would always joke around and make fun of each other. So one day my mom was picking me up from school. And me and the girl were walking out together and she said. See you tomorrow Dumbo. Comma I had big ears as a kid. Thankfully I grew into them. My mom heard her say that and wasn't having any of it. She stormed over and started yelling at her. Saying things like. Don't ever talk to my kid like that again. How would you like it if kids made fun of the freckles on your face? She started bawling. I was so fking embarrassed my mom was yelling at this innocent little girl in front of dozens of kids. We left and I didn't talk to my mom at all on our way home. Thanks mom. I love you. But that was mean. I have aggressive Crohn's that started showing up around 8th grade. My mom took me to all of my DR. Appointments. Which were all pretty embarrassing. Because no teenage boy wants their mom involved in their butt related illness. One particular visit. We were about halfway through the appointment. When she whipped out a cool whip tub. Turns out. The following night I used the bathroom and it didn't all go down. So she thought it would be helpful to load that up in our poor people Tupperware and haul it on into the DR. So he could look it over. He had the confused what am I supposed to do with poop in a cool whip tub face for a good 5-10 seconds. Then politely dismissed it. Who'd have thought that there isn't any medical knowledge to be gained from fishing poop out of the toilet. Refrigerating it overnight. And schlepping it up for an office visit. She googles my boss's phone number. Called him in his office. Asked him to put me on the phone. 
In his office. I was in a meeting with a client. I didn't answer her call on my cell phone. In the middle of a work day. She wanted to BTCH about my stepfather. And wanted to talk now. No emergency or anything. She just wanted to talk and gave zero shti about the consequence of her actions. As per F King usual. And X200B. And that's the day my boss and pretty much the entire company lost respect for me. When the mom of their co-workers called him on his boss's office. To talk about personal shit. And X200B. A few months later. I resigned. There was nowhere to go in that place anymore. My dad told a guy I had a crush on that I liked him. I was 16 or 17 at the time. Still mortified when I think about it. When I was in my early 20s and living at home my father took a business call for me. People say we sound exactly alike on the phone. So when he was mistaken for me he ran with it. And was an ass to the caller. I probably lost out on a low 4 figure amount of money because of it. I used to think it was because he didn't approve of who I was dating at the time. But after events in recent years I think he was just letting his asshole side shine because of the opportunity to do so. I've mentioned it before on our ask reddit but when I was 11. I was taken in for questioning regarding drug distribution out of our house. My dad had marijuana growing in the basement. And he used and sold it to neighbors and friends. When the police raided the house, my dad was at work. They asked me if I knew what was in the room. Because I had knowledge of it. I guess it was enough to bring me in for questioning, even cuffed me and everything. My dad didn't show up for almost 8 more hours. As you can imagine. In a small town like the one I grew up. People talked, and I lived next to a massive apartment complex. I was the talk of the town for almost 2 years because of it. My poor inbox. When I was a senior in high school I had left the lights on in my truck all day and had to call my dad to come jumpstart my car. Now my father is 6 feet 1 and has a very large belly. Moth Earthka rolls up in cloth shorts and no shirt to jumpstart my car. Then there was the time a few years earlier that my mother had sent him up to school to give me a sandwich before a football game. The man's boxers were longer than his shorts. I was 10 years old and, and my two best friends, girl and boy, were sleeping over that night and my dad, the oversharer that he is, proceeds to tell my friends the story on how I was conceived in the back of a car on a cold night somewhere. I was so mortified and my friends were just as uncomfortable as I was and we collectively agreed to ignore the whole idea. Also he brought the cake out to the lounge wearing only his undies and a bow tie. It was a rough night. I had C cup boobs when I was 11 years old. My mom loved to loudly talk about them to anyone who would listen. Yeah. She's only 11. You wouldn't think from the way she's filled out up top. Hehehehehehehe. <laughs> Double quote. Then I'd start crying from the humiliation and she'd tell me to lighten up. Double quote. To preface this. My mom has a way with words. As in she doesn't always know what a word means but uses it anyway or she mispronounces things quite frequently. So I have this psychotic fking hatred of feet and have had it for as long as I can remember. Not really sure why. Anytime feet are brought up my mom never fails to tell whoever she is talking with that I have a foot fetish. We have tried to explain to her what that actually means. Yet she does not seem to get it. I am 35 now and this has been going on for at least 25 years. It is kind of mortifying. My two little brothers find it hilarious and thus I am known as the foot fucker. Edit. My first reddit silver on a post about my mom telling friends and family that I am a podiatry enthusiast. Voice. And thank you for the gold kind redditor. Mom made me call my 8th grade social studies teacher at home to ask if I could use him as a job reference. He lived with his parents still and I asked for him by first name. He waited for me at my locker the next day to tell me never to phone his house again, parents house, and never call him by his first name again. Didn't get the job either. Mom denies this ever happened and claimed she would never demand I do something so strange. My mom was pretty f up. So I have an endless list. The one that comes to mind right now is the time she sent me to go pick my younger brother from the pool. I. 
Being a 13 year active kid. Joined him and started playing with his friends instead. I guess she got tired of waiting for me and decided to come to the pool to check up on us. She came and found me in the pool, yes. Wearing regular clothes shame on me, playing Marco Polo with the guys. She yelled my name. Took her slipper off. And threw it on my head. Then she went on calling me a SLT for swimming with guys. Every guy there went quiet. I think the silence was one of the most unbearable thing. Still prickles my skin when I think about it. I was so embarrassed. I remember that walk home. My head down in shame. Can't believe I actually I thought I did something wrong. Cried myself to sleep. What's funny is she didn't even ask my brother to come back with us. FCKU. Mom. I'm glad our relationship is better now but you made my childhood a nightmare. FCKU. Lots and lots of things. I was always sent to school with no school supplies. No Valentine's Day cards. No snacks when it was my day to bring snacks. No birthday cupcakes for the class. No notes saying I saw the DR before school started and teachers took IT out on me like I could drive myself to the store at 5-11 and pick these things up myself. When I was young we had a pajama day at school but I always just wore my boxers to sleep. Well obviously a kid can't show up to school in just underwear but I was too little dumb to understand that. Why my mom allowed me to go and even drove me there. I have no idea. It was the most embarrassing day of my life. And the school had to call my parents to come pick me up halfway through the day. Edit to answer some questions. I was in elementary school. But I can't remember if it was first or second grade. And the school didn't notice or care until halfway because I was eating lunch in the cafeteria and kids were staring at me. Some adult must have noticed then. Ask my best friend to leave my 16th day party because her boyfriend was black. My dad. Influenced partly by bad boys too. Decided to mess with my boyfriend on my first date by acting like a hard ass. He filled a whiskey bottle with tea. And when he answered the door he chugged the whole thing while staring my boyfriend down. Then tried to break the bottle over his own head. The date was cancelled due to the hospital trip. And I became known as the girl with the batchet insane father. Don't concuss yourself this time became the running joke once I was able to get a date again. My mother dressed me and my sister as Nazis to a local fate. We sat on a float and waved at people. We won the competition. But I don't feel right about it. When I was 5 or so my pre-K did a play based on Noah's Ark. It was a pre-K attached to a church. We were instructed that our costume was supposed to be raincoats, rain boots, umbrellas. I didn't have any of those things but begged my dad to get me at least one of them so I'd fit in and follow the guidelines. Fast forward. The night of the play. I'm frantically scanning the audience because my dad is always late. He finally shows up and brings me. A life jacket. I had to stand up there with all the kids in their little raincoats and a life jacket. I was really embarrassed. Dad's defense was that I was the only kid who would have survived the flood. I a. I can laugh now but I sure wasn't laughing then. Edit. Ro. My first silver. Thank you for the fancy reddit bauble. Second edit. Holy macrame. Gold. It makes me happy that this glimpse into my strange childhood brought so many laughs. My mom is the worst. She does it unintentionally. I'm 34 and we hang out a lot. In stores when we split up. I can hear her yelling my name from across the store. I've asked her 100 times to use her cell phone or look for me. I never hear anyone else's names being yelled out. It happened so much that I've stopped going out with her as much. Also. We had a family dinner with aunts. Uncles. And cousins. And I don't know how it came up because I was in another conversation. But I heard her say. Gina Linetti for Prez has a gynecologist appointment next week. Why? We were at a restaurant too. Everything went silent. Edit. I haven't had the gynecologist appointment yet. It's actually Monday the 25th of February. Just a routine checkup. Everything should be fine. Appreciate the concern. Edit 2. This reminds me. 
I think my mom gets it from her dad. My grandpa, a former master sergeant who is loud as hell, will see a female family member and be like. Damn you got fat. He just say what comes to his mind out loud. We meet for dinner at a restaurant every Sunday so I know everyone is hoping they don't get called out. One time he was in the middle of eating and said yelled. Wife. I'm gonna shti myself. Double quote. So he can't help but call himself out too. This will be me someday. When I was a senior in college I was working a part time job. They offered to make my current position full time once I graduated. Before I got a chance to respond my father found out and contacted my supervisor expressing concerns about the offer and the fact I was still in college. How my father found out still boggles my mind but when my supervisor told me that my dad called him was probably the most embarrassing thing either of my parents have done. Edit. I spoke to my parents a few months after it happened and the only thing they considered wrong with the situation was that my supervisor told me my dad called. Edit. Another story for your entertainment. When I was in 7th grade and went to a youth conference with my church. All students got a free t-shirt and people were signing each other's name on them. This one girl signed mine dotted the I with a heart and left her number. Well I get home my mom is doing my laundry and find said number. Yup you guessed it. My mother called the number and told the girl I needed to focus on education and didn't have time for girls. My father was a huge racist and used pejorative terms to describe other people. I knew about the bad words for African Americans. Chinese people. And Japanese people so I never said them. Little me didn't know about the other words. I used one in class to answer a question my history teacher asked and he was properly horrified. I was immediately removed from class and my confused ass was grilled for hours about my word usage. I finally said I don't know what I did wrong. My dad says it all of the time to describe people from that country. They called my mom. I had to go home. There was a shouting match between my parents and my dad's mother that night and I was beaten soundly by my father. Edit. JFC. Fine. The word was hadji. Also. I learned that it might not be as bad as I was lead to believe. Always learning something new on Reddit. Thanks y'all. My 350 pound mother streaked in front of my boyfriend and my friends for 100 bucks. I was only 16. And that image still haunts me. Maybe not the most embarrassing but certainly top 10. My mom went through this phase where she would talk during movies. Specifically about what's going on in the movie. She was also terrible at paying attention to what was going on so often times what she was explaining was incorrect. In addition. She would try to talk over the movie. Mum would occasionally have to yell to make sure she was heard over the action scenes. Imagine. If you will. Watching the aftermath of the stampede scene from the Lion King and the person next to you yelling Simba is sad because her dad died. Double quote. My parents, Southeast Asian, told one of my best friends, who is a girl and Caucasian, behind my back. That if she was the same ethnicity as them, they would ask me to marry her. I am sure they thought this would be very flattering. I found out later and to this day. Over a decade later. Still makes me cringe big time. Edit 1. A lot of people are asking me if my parents are racist. They are not. This is a cultural thing. I have been married to my Caucasian wife for many many years and they love her. When I was 8, yes. 8 years old, I was obsessed with the new Charles Angels movie with Cameron Diaz. Lucy Liu. And Drew Barrymore. There's a scene in the movie where Drew is dressed in a patriotic jumpsuit at NASCAR racetrack and I really wanted to have that outfit for my Halloween costume. My mom is a costumer and... God bless her. Made my costume from scratch to resemble Drew's jumpsuit. Well. As you can probably imagine. An 8 year old girl does not have the cleavage to fill that jumpsuit out. So my mother decided to add massive fake tits to this costume. I was mortified and for some reason she would not take them out. So for Halloween that year. I had my arms crossed all of trick or treating. I still look back at the pictures from that year with deep anxiety. Edit. Adding shti quality, pick of shame, http, 
Imga. Commas Rexid. So I'm not the most fashionable guy. But I really like winter coats and tried to get the most fashionable ones I could find. So I usually had a few that I rotated through each season. Well when I was maybe 20 or so. We were going through old clothes to donate what we didn't need. And a friend of the family was gonna come pick them up. I had several coats on my pile. And when the friend came to get them she commented on that. My mom says. Oh he just has a coat fetish. Everyone was super uncomfortable. And I tried explaining that I just liked them. It wasn't a fetish. My mom apparently thought a fetish just meant you really liked something. Didn't understand. Or believe when it was explained. That it was sexual. She then told me she'd mentioned my coat fetish to multiple people before. Thanks mom. People probably think I creep around Burlington Coat Factory now. When I was 10 or so. I was struggling with being too big for kids clothes and too skinny for most juniors clothes. I was trying on this dress with a mesh area around the neck in the department store dressing room. And it was so big on me that my nipples literally showed through the mesh part that was supposed to be around my collarbones. Kids that age are moody. So I just lost it in frustration and started crying. My mom was like oh. Just let me see but I didn't want her to see because that meant showing the whole fitting area my nipples. Finally I showed her and when she saw how upset I was. Instead of comforting me. She decided to mimic me. Fake cry in my voice saying oh my god everyone can see my nipples and flash everyone in the dressing room. Ah my mother. When I was 23 stroke 24. I was doing an internship and was talking to a guy back home. When I got home and we finally met I took him to my mom's school so she can say hi. I have no idea why I thought this was a fun idea. She told me. Oh. No one is there. Last day of school so not many people. Come up. So when I took the guy and myself to my mom's school and went to her classroom. I opened the door and it was packed. She sees me and yells. Everyone. Everyone. This is my daughter. And this is my daughter's special friend. I melted into the floor. I was 13 and waiting for a ride with my sister and parents at Dollywood. Across the way. Two very pretty girls about my age were smiling at me. I smiled back and acted all cool because I was a skater boy with skater hair and my vision streetwear and some shirt with a skull on it or something. It was working too. The girls whispered to each other and giggled and one even waved at me. Then my mom reached her damn hand in my face and popped a pimple right there public. The girls were aghast. I was humiliated. I have never forgiven her. One time a pigeon shat on my grandma after church when the service was over. You fucking cck sucker at the top of her lungs as the priest was shaking hands with people outside. I was 6. Thanks for the upvotes everyone. Glad you all enjoyed the story. My mom and dad would always tease me about female friends of mine and if they ever saw me with one they would mock me and say something like oh look who has a girlfriend. This caused me to not develop any female friends in future and hurt my dating life for years and years and years. I used to hold a lot of resentment for that cause I wanted to avoid the bullying and teasing so badly. It was my 16th birthday and my family went to a fancy Italian restaurant. The staff came over to sing happy birthday to me and my dad started singing along loudly in a bad Italian opera kind of accent. We are not Italian. The staff was so stunned they just stopped singing. The other customers around us laughed and applauded and the staff just walked away. I was mortified. 10th birthday. School is holding a McDonald's fundraiser. Everyone is there. Sister works at the McDonald's and gets you a special cake for your birthday. Life is peaking. Mom is carrying out a cake with everyone from my class watching and drops the cake straight on the ground. Not only is 10 year old me devastated. But my mom then proceeds to start scooping cake off the floor onto plates and insisting that people eat it. Mom isn't allowed to carry cakes anymore. My mom sent in pictures of my awkward middle school page for the baby pictures section of my senior yearbook. Everyone else had pictures from the ages of 0-5. Mine were middle school age when I just looked generally awkward and terrible. 
to this day I have no idea what she was thinking or how she misunderstood the point of those pages so badly. The worst part is that I moved to a new town junior year. So the people I graduated with never would have known about my awkward middle school phase if it weren't for that yearbook. Which everyone will keep and look back on for the rest of their lives. I burnt mine. When I was 3. We were on vacation in Cancun and apparently I lost my swimming pants at the pool. Although I don't remember the actual incident. Every family gathering they bring up how I ran around screaming hello to random people with my pants off and DCK flopping around. They apparently let me do this all day until the security reprimanded them. 16 years later. And they are still bringing it up. Had my first boyfriend in middle school and brought him home one time. At one point my mom made him bring me my clean laundry. And by that I mean a single pair of pink high school musical underwear. I cried from embarrassment but he was actually pretty cool about it and comforted me. Then he cheated on me. I had a male friend come over after school. And my best friend neighbor was going to join soon after, they were dating at the time. Anyway. Be get off the bus. Start walking down the alleyway. And notice my mom pull out of the driveway. So we walk up to the car and I ask where she's going. Mom. We're heading to the grocery store. Did you need anything? Me. No. I think I'm good. Mom. Okay. Well I noticed the cucumber in your room was a looking a bit. Soft so I'll grab you another one. My friend looked like he was about to piss himself. I went to a funeral either in middle school or high school for one of my grandparents on my dad's side. When we got there. One of his old friends was there and so was his old friend's daughter. Who was really hot and my age. I immediately thought. Holy shit. She's hot. Well apparently my dad did too because next thing I knew he mentioned out loud right next to her and about three other people that I must think she's gorgeous and that I should talk to her. Or something along those lines. Then realizing what just happened and said. Oops I think I embarrassed him. While I forced myself to laugh it off as the girl did too. Needless to say I was extremely pissed at him in my head. Still don't look back at this moment and laugh. Also I was pretty short when this took place so the chances of it working out were slim to none. But still. What efck dad. <laughs>